With the 1970 Final Four team on hand for a 50th anniversary celebration, you knew New Mexico State would want to put on a show. Well, heading into Saturday's showdown with Utah Valley, I'm not sure anyone with the Aggies could have predicted the drama that would ensue this afternoon at the Pan Am. The Aggies trying for their 15th consecutive win, a 30th straight whack victory. First half, Ivan Arua Coachea doing chin ups on the rim, two of his 18 points. Then it's Johnny McCants, the local kid from Oñate High School, open. For Hart. They were up by six points at the break. Second half, though, here come the Wolverines. Kasdan Jardine. Three ball gives them their first lead with four minutes to go, but the Aggies would rally. Here's McCants. Oh, freaking the alley oop right there. Ties it up at 73. But TJ Washington, under a minute to go with the steal, the bucket. They would lead by one with six seconds left, which sets up this. NMSU going the length of the court. Evan Gilliard, handoff. Jabari Rice, you better call bank, you better call game. The Aggies win it 84 to 82. Nobody could catch Jabari Rice as he ran around the stadium afterwards. It's Chris James' 100th career victory. And KTSM 9 Sports Director Andy Morgan was there for it all. Jabari Rice called bank and game. What a way to win on a night New Mexico State was honoring the 1970 Final Four team. More on that in just a second, but first, let's get back to Rice and this Aggies team that just refuses to lose a whack game. There was never a doubt. Even with their backs so far against the wall, they always find a way to win. It's just so surreal to me. Like, I, I don't know. It's something you dream about, you know, and, and it actually happened in front of this type of, these type of people. For whatever reason, the basketball guys or somebody up there was shining down upon us to allow that ball to go through and uh, I just got to think that some of it has to do with the fact that you know we got the final four team here and uh, all these fans. It's NMSU's 15th straight win, their 30th consecutive conference win, and Chris Jans's 100th win of his career. And you heard him allude to the 1970 Final Four team. New Mexico State honoring the nine living members of that team. And you better believe it was a homecoming they'll never forget. It's great. You know, there's always been warm attitudes towards us anyway, and this just enhances that even more. Quite the night here in Las Cruces. Once again, your final score, New Mexico State 84, Utah Valley 82 in dramatic fashion. We're at the Pan American Center. Andy Morgan, KTSM 9 Sports.